Qatar responds to an outrageous statement by a top Israeli minister who said nuclear weapons are on the table. In business, Qatar Energy signs yet another long-term deal, this time with China's Sinopec. And finally, German football club Mainz terminate Anwar al-Ghazi's contract over his pro-Palestine posts. Stick around to see how he reacted. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's foreign ministry spokesman Dr. Majid al-Ansari said threats by an Israeli minister on the use of a nuclear bomb in Gaza is no more than rhetoric that escalates the already dangerous situation in the region. The Qatari official said, quote, obviously it is neither realistic or possible and is certainly against all humanitarian and international law. Earlier today, Israel's heritage minister said dropping a nuclear weapon on the Gaza Strip is an option and claimed there are no civilians there. Now, state-owned Chinese firm Sinopec and Qatar Energy have signed a new 27-year liquefied natural gas deal. Under the new agreement, Sinopec will cooperate with Qatar Energy on the second phase of the Gulf state's Northfield expansion project, which is set to supply 3 million metric tons of LNG per year to Sinopec. And finally, German football club Mainz has terminated the contract of Dutch footballer Anwar Al-Ghazi over social media posts denouncing Israel's attack on Gaza. The club initially suspended Al-Ghazi, then reinstated the winger, but another post from the Dutchman prompted Mainz to terminate his contract. In response, the ex-Aston Villa footballer said, quote, the loss of my livelihood is nothing when compared to the hell being unleashed on the innocent and vulnerable in Gaza. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.